Hello. I'm going to do the August reading for Gemini. Let's see what messages come out for Gemini. Seven of Swords, something didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to. But there was a situation that didn't work the way that you wanted it to. Someone wasn't who you thought they were going to be. Maybe a job didn't turn out the way you thought it was going to. Looking to a higher power for answers. Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Maybe it was with a Queen of Pentacles. I feel like Queen of Pentacles also represents a friend. But it could be a relationship with the Queen of Pentacles or somebody who has those qualities. This is two people coming together. This is um, starting a relationship, moving in the direction that you want to go. Direction of your goals, possible partnership. Maybe it's partnership with a Queen of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles came out, but it came out upside down. When it's this way, it means that you're being it, you're able to juggle two different areas of your life. But with it upside down means that you're not able to work two different areas of your life. So it could be love and re love and money, your job and your relationship. Nine of Swords. Taking action and moving forward. All right. This didn't work out for you. Something didn't work out for you. I'm not sure with the cards that I'm seeing right now. It didn't work out for you right now, but you've been, I feel like you've been praying for some, for things to get better, for things to turn around for you. And... You need to put a plan in action. You need to put a, a, a plan to move away from this. Yeah, you're tired. You're worn out. This really dragged you down. This really wore you out. You feel off balance. The Emperor could be with a Libra. No, Aries, sorry. Why did I say Libra? Maybe for some of you that, yeah, because Libra is um, temperance. No. Why do I keep wanting to say Libra? Libra is the justice card. Huh. Aries. 
I want to, I keep wanting to say Libra. So for some of you, maybe that will resonate, but it's with a Libra. Something with a Libra didn't work, work out. And you've, it's made you feel off balance. But you need to look at things rationally and you need to move away from the situation because it's exhausted you. <gasps> a new relationship, a new beginning. You're starting a new beginning. That's, I think I keep saying like that. You... I feel like you've had a breakup with a Libra and you've been asking in your prayers for somebody new to come into your life. Maybe it's the Aries comes into your life. Maybe it's the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like, she, like I said, I feel like Queen of Pentacles represents a friend. So maybe you've been talking to a friend about this situation and you're like, hey, I, I'm just waiting for somebody new to come in, but I feel so exhausted from this last relationship I was in. And Page of Swords. Delayed news. I feel like you've been waiting for this to happen and it hasn't been happening and this has really been frustrating you and you're like, why hasn't this new person come into my life? You're like, what the heck is up? Haven't I suffered enough from this past relationship? But maybe it's because you needed time to heal. Yeah, that's exactly what I was just saying. Is because you're so exhausted from this. This is pulling your final reserves. Like you're just so exhausted from what this happened. You needed the reason why this new relationship is delayed is because you've been through so much. But do you see how the sun is coming through the swords and going onto the person? Okay, that's that's how you feel right now. But you needed time to heal. You need time to heal and put this behind you before you can cut, you can start on this. But this is on its way. And it also it has the moon cycles here. So I feel like it's just going to take a little more time. Maybe it's like the end of the month or September, I feel just because you're so exhausted from that, but you can't find somebody new and you can't go into a new relationship if you haven't healed from your past relationship because then you're just bringing that bag baggage into the new relationship and that's why you're that's why this came out upside down. It's so off balance. You're off balance because you need time to rest and you need time to heal from this breakup that you just had. Yes. Ace of Swords, overcoming a difficult decision, a difficult situation. All right, you have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. You can overcome this that has happened to you, but you need a little more time. Justice. Ha. That's the Libra card. But this also means balance. So you're going to be able to find balance with this new relationship and you're going to feel more balanced with this new relationship. But you need to have, like I said, you need to take time out for yourself to heal. But I feel like it, it doesn't have to be that it was with a Libra, but I just felt earlier that it was possibly with a Libra. The hermit. Yes, that's what I was saying is that you need to take time out for yourself to heal from this situation. It's a temporary hardship that you're going through right now. And you're irritated with the fact that things aren't moving quicker. And you're not being patient. Okay? 
I feel that that's why this new relationship isn't coming in is because you need time to heal. As much as you feel like you don't, maybe you feel like you don't need to or you don't want to or instead of just, like I said, you can't start a new relationship until you've put the other one behind you. Stop going from person to person to person. Stop taking one person to take to take one person to help you feel better about the loss from the other person when you haven't gotten over it from that initial loss. All right, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner. You seek I don't know you could have met the person. Maybe they just haven't, you know, the two of you haven't moved forward in your relationship. Um, you could have met this person, but I feel like this relationship here will be a really important one for you and that it's really going to change things around from you. It's going to help you to heal from this, but you need to do some healing on your own first before you can overcome the situation. You have to do it on your own first. All right, I'm, I have these um, cards. They're one for each sign. So just for fun, I want to see what cards pop out. Cancer. So the new person that you could be involved with could be a cancer or it could be who you are moving away from. And let's pick one more. Let's just pick two. So who you're moving away from and who you're moving towards. Doesn't necessarily have to be. I'm not saying it has to be this person. I'm just saying for fun, I just wanted to. Taurus. So we have Taurus and Cancer. If those relate to you, see anything else that I want to pick and we'll try let's let's do the angel answers they could have Taurus. it could they could have Taurus or cancer somewhere in their chart it doesn't have to be their Sun moon or rising sign um, just like I said just for fun I just picked that maybe for some of you it will resonate some of you it won't Let's see this one. Okay, this is an angel answers cards. So if you have a particular question in mind, all right, we'll just see what this says. Reconsider. Could be maybe you're going to work it out with this person. Could be. Reconsider. If this person is trying to get back together with you, Reconsider that. Maybe there's, you know, somebody better. There's somebody there better for you. If this could be the one, you've already met the romantic partner. Maybe the two of you are really having some fights and some disagreements and the two of you have been arguing and you're exhausted and it didn't turn out the way that you wanted to. But maybe this is that special person that you have to fight for this relationship. All right. This isn't a private reading, so I can't tell you exactly, but this is, I'm trying to give different scenarios for people that are reading this, if this resonates with you. Okay, and let's pick one more angel answers. Maybe this is the person that you have to fight for. Maybe this, you know, relationships are up and down and all over the place. You have your good times and your bad times. Only you know what is best for you that will make you happy. Maybe you need to take some time out and walk away from this relationship to think about whether you really want to stay in it or not. Opportunity. Take the opportunity to take some time out to think about what you really want. Do you want this relationship? Do you want to move on from this relationship? Let's see, let's pick. I 
feel like. Let's do these are I love these cards, but they're so hard to shuffle. Because they're heart shaped. I mean it's kind of a good idea, but as far as shuffling, it's not such a good idea. <laughs> Alright, this one popped out. Romance, romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. Cupid's arrow could strike to for you to work on your relationship or to Move on. These two fell off. Fell out. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. That's what I've been saying all along. Do what is best for you. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. All right? That's what I've been saying this whole entire reading. What is going to work best for you? What is going to make you happy? Don't stay in a relationship that doesn't make you happy. Do you reconsider? Is this is the opportunity for you to reconsider? What's going to work best for you? This is just temporary. This hardship is just temporary, okay? Things didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to. There is a new opportunity for you. But you know the path that you need to be on. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. I feel like you already know what the answer is. You know what the answer is, but you just don't want to face it. Take that time out. Be that hermit. Take that time out to process it. Build up your strength. Get that final push and do that decision. That Make that decision that's right for you. Because there's an amazing love waiting for you, okay? Whether it's with this person or without this person. You can overcome this difficult situation. You're just too tired right now to think. <laughs> Alright. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.